Hi, I'm Alex Ronsley, the radio voice of the Power River Kings. Welcome to your weekly update. Now, there was no update last week because of the midweek game as the Kings visited the Alberni Valley Bulldogs. The result, not what the Kings were looking for, a 4-0 shutout at the hands of Alberni Valley. Fast forward to Friday night. Kings hosting the Merritts and Tenniels at the Hap Parker Arena, returning home after three straight on the road. Kings look good in the first period. Aiden Wright scoring his fifth of the season. You can check that goal out right here. But it was all downhill from there as the Centennials put on three in the first, added another in the third as well for a 4-1 victory. The Kings were due to play Saturday night against the Alberni Valley Bulldogs, but some tough weather in the region forced the cancellation of ferries from Vancouver Island to Powell River. That game is due to be made up on Tuesday, February the 25th, as the Bulldogs will come back to Powell River and play a 6.30 game at the Hap Parker Arena. It'll be the seventh of eight matchups between the two clubs this season. Now, with only five games left in the regular season, focus begins to shift towards playoffs. The BCHL over the last week announcing its new format for the postseason. The one versus four teams and two versus three teams in each of the league's three divisions will face off in a best of seven opening round. The winners of those two series in each division will face off in another best of seven series in a divisional final. From there, the BCHL will be left with three division champions. Those three teams will play off in a round-robin style tournament with two games at each team's home venue. The highest seed from the regular season earns home ice advantage in the round robin. From that round robin, the top two teams in the standings will advance to a best of seven series to decide the 2014 Fred Page Cup and the BCHL representative for the Western Canada Cup to be held in Dauphin, Manitoba. Now it all gets underway March the 4th. It's a Tuesday night. The Kings have already secured home ice advantage. Now moving away from the ice, but still sticking with the Power River Kings, we'll find out in a week or so if Kings forward Ryan Scarfo is smarter than a 6th grader. It's all part of a great fundraiser by the Power River District and United Way for their program, Success by Six, and the Orca Bus. Now the Orca Bus, or On the Road Children's Activities, provides some great opportunities for local kids who may otherwise go without these type of learning opportunities. It travels around the region and provides kids a great fun and safe experience to learn in their developmental years. Now Ryan will be one of four contestants in this year's event. I'll be involved as well, emceeing them and guiding the contestants all the way through their set of questions. Ryan will answer questions from grade one to grade six of the Powell River Elementary School curriculum and we'll find out if Ryan Scarfo is smarter than a Powell River 6th grader. Now, if you're in Powell River and you want to come to the event, it is Thursday, February the 27th at Westview Elementary School. Doors open at 545. The event itself kicks off at 630. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for kids. You can pick them up at Breakwater Books or First Credit Union. Now, I had a chance to catch up with Ryan before Friday night's game against the Merritt Centennials. I asked him that very simple question. Ryan Scarfer, are you smarter than a Powell River 6th grader? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been doing any studying? I know you've known about the event for, for a while. Uh, what are you trying to, to burn up on there on the 6th grade curriculum? Absolutely. I'm, I'm really trying to focus on the BC geography. Uh, I think, you know, those are the questions that might be able to get me. So uh, you know, my builds and I have been going over some of the maps of BC, and you know, I, I feel pretty confident right now. You went to, to prep school uh, before coming to, to Power River. You've already got the college commitment. Just talk about pride in terms of, uh, you know, it's obviously a fundraiser, so, so that's the, the main point, but a little bit of pride, I imagine. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I'm trying to win. Uh, you know, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun at the same time, though, and uh, obviously you have have the kids there, and, and you want to have a good time with them, so I'm looking forward to it. I know that you prepare for a hockey game, and it doesn't necessarily matter who the opponent is. You go out and try and execute a game plan. You know, you've got three other competitors there. One is a Power River RCMP officer. The other was on Canada's uh, greatest know-it-all or Canada's best know-it-all show on the CBC there. It's a tough competition. Yeah, that sounds like a tough lineup. Uh I didn't know what I was getting myself into, actually, so I'm not sure if I'm being set up for failure here or for success. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, like I said. Once again, that event, a 6.30 start at Westview Elementary School on Thursday, February the 27th. Tickets are $10 for adults, $8 for kids and seniors, and they're available through Breakwater Books and First Credit Union. Now, back to the ice, and this weekend, the Kings back in action 
on home ice, taking on the Surrey Eagles Friday night, a 7.30 start. The Cowichan Valley Capitals visiting on Saturday, a 6.30 start at the Hat Parker Arena. Now, the two games huge as the Kings looking to break a five-game winless skid. They're also huge because it's alumni weekend in Powell River. A whole host of former Paper Kings and Kings coming back to town to help support the franchise, rekindle some friendships, and play a game as well. 3.30, Saturday afternoon, that's the 22nd. The alumni will be on the ice and going for a skate on Hat Parker Ice for the first time in a long time. For some of them, for the first time since they finished their junior careers. No tickets required for the alumni game. Of course, grab your tickets for the two Kings games Friday night at 7.30 against the Eagles. Saturday night at 6.30 against the Cowichan Valley Capitals. There'll be some off-ice events as well. The alumni will be in attendance for both games. And then, of course, free admission for that 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, February the 22nd for the alumni game. Uh, they're not promising high-quality hockey, but it should be a pretty entertaining game nonetheless. That'll do it for this week's update. Remember, you can keep up to date with everything Powell River Kings through social media. Visit us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Powell River Kings. You can also follow the Kings on Twitter. That's at BCHL Kings and the official blog of the Powell River Kings, kingsofthecastle.wordpress.com. That's got your game previews, reviews, and everything else as well. The huge alumni weekend coming up Friday, Saturday, Surrey and Cowichan in town, and a whole host of Kings alumni taking to the ice 3.30 on Saturday afternoon. That'll do it for this week. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you at the rink this weekend as the Kings take on the Eagles on Friday night. Bye now.